Good evening. So in today's gospel, Jesus is talking about the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven. Many times in the gospel, we hear the phrase, the kingdom of God. There are 53 times in the gospel that Jesus mentions the phrase, the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven. So what is the meaning of the kingdom of God to you and to me? So we cannot see the kingdom of God. We cannot hear the kingdom of God. We cannot observe the kingdom of God. Instead, we experience the kingdom of God in your life and in my life. So normally, sometimes or many times, we think that the kingdom of God is a place that we come to after this life. However, more than a place, the kingdom of God is a state. And in the Lord's Prayer, we pray every day. We pray that your kingdom comes, your kingdom comes. And that's why St. Paul said to his one of us, the kingdom of God is not food or drink, but righteousness, peace, love, and the joy in the Holy Spirit. Especially, the kingdom of God is God's presence among our life. That's why if God is present in our hearts, there is the kingdom of God. If God is present in our family, there is the kingdom of God. If God is present in our community, there is the kingdom of God. And that's why Jesus Christ himself also the kingdom of God as well. Jesus Christ's presence is the kingdom of God among us. And that's why whenever or wherever Jesus is, there is our king and our kingdom. My dear friends, the kingdom of God is coming to each one of us in many different ways. And Jesus Christ is coming to each one of us in many different ways as well. Jesus Christ is coming to us in this moment in Holy Mass. Jesus Christ is coming to us in our prayer. Jesus is coming to us in sacraments. Jesus is coming to us in those who are in need our time, our concern, our love, our sacrifice, our forgiveness. That's why we consider the presence of the kingdom of God through Jesus' presence. My dear friends, today gospel tells us the value of the kingdom of God. The gospel points out the kingdom of God is the most valuable thing in our life, in our journey of faith. That's why Jesus Christ invites each one of us to lose everything to gain the kingdom of God, to sacrifice everything to gain the kingdom of God, to give up everything to gain the kingdom of God. And that's why the loss of everything is not set and not bad if we gain the kingdom of God. And the loss of everything is not set and not bad for us if we gain Jesus Christ. And we lose everything, we sacrifice everything, we give up everything without joy, without joy. In the gospel, we hear that in his joy, he goes and sells everything he has and buys that field. And that's why we are called to do the same. We sacrifice ourselves, we give up ourselves for the kingdom of God, but with joy, without joy. And St. Paul says to his one of us, rejoice in the Lord. I say again, rejoice. We are called to, re to rejoice in our circumstances, 
We are called to rejoice in all situations of our life. In the time of sickness, sufferings, jealousies, troubles, and many others, we are called to rejoice because we believe we have Jesus Christ. We believe the kingdom of God is within us and God's promise is within us. My dear friends, the question for us in today's gospel is how do we do to experience the kingdom of God in our life? How do we do to experience the kingdom of heaven in our life? To answer this question, we go back to the first reading. In the first reading, God says to Solomon, ask what you would like me to do for you. So, to answer this question, we hear what Solomon asked God for. He said to God, give your servant a heart to understand how to discern between God and evil, between right and wrong. Solomon did not ask for wealth. Solomon did not ask for money. Solomon did not ask for authority. Solomon did not ask for escaping from his enemies. Rather, he asked for wisdom, for discernment, for understanding, and this wisdom is much more than knowing something. This wisdom is much more than having something. Rather, this wisdom is an awareness of knowing what the purpose of life is in our life and where our happiness is in our life. My dear friends, in other words, Solomon asked for the ability to see. The one who sees is the one who has wisdom. The one who has wisdom is the one who can cope with many troubles of our life, of their lives. And that's why today we consider ourselves what we ask God for, wisdom, understanding, or poverty, finance. That's why today, the question God asked Solomon, ask what you would like me to do for you, is also the question Jesus Christ mentions many times in the gospel. Many times in the gospel, Jesus said to people, what do you want me to do for you? Or what are you looking for from me? What are you looking for? And this question is very good for each one of us to consider today. What are we looking for? Sometimes or many times, we are looking for many enjoy enjoyments. Sometimes or many times, we are looking for many satisfactions of our life. Sometimes or many times, we are looking for the beaches to visit. Sometimes or many times, we are looking for many games to play. Or sometimes or many times, we are looking for God. We are looking for spending time for God and for our brothers and sisters. Looking for the time to taking care of others. That's why today we consider ourselves what is priority in our life. God or evil, right or wrong. My dear friends, looking for Jesus, looking for the kingdom of God is the most valuable thing of our life because we believe that Jesus is our treasure and we are called to look for this treasure of our life. And we know where Jesus is staying in our life. Jesus is staying in our family where we pray together, we love together, we sacrifice together. And Jesus is staying 
in the Holy Mass, where he can share his life every day, every time we are here for Holy Mass. And Jesus is saying in our community where you want to become good Catholics, good examples of our life. My dear friends, today, gospel is a great message for each one of us to pick out many ways to recognize the presence of the kingdom of God in our life. We believe that the kingdom of God is growing on earth right now, right here, every day in our life, in your heart, in my heart, in your family, in my family, in our community. And we are called to be more open, to be more receptive, to experience the kingdom of God in our life because the kingdom of God is coming to us. The kingdom of God is within us. And Jesus Christ brings his kingdom to us every day. Receive it and believe in him because in this way, we can attain the gift of the kingdom of God and eternal life. Amen.